everyone. Thank you for joining me. This is A Touch of Tarot and this is going to be a bedtime story. So we'll see what comes up. These are really random messages and may pertain to any one of you and your love life. Okay. The first message I did receive because I was asking what this reading will be about um, it may have to do with someone being ready to take the jump. And that's what I heard. I'm ready. So, wow. First card to flip over. You can't really see it, um, but it is the heart chakra. Someone is following their heart or is about to follow their heart. They have the confidence and I'm hearing like the willy nilly. I don't know if some people talk like that. <laughs> Someone's ready to take that jump. So this is definitely a love situation. And we have the strength, power, energy. And I mentioned someone has got their confidence now. This person that's coming forward is going to be asking to reunite with you and to start a partnership and alliance. I'm seeing these cards stick out along with the emperor so this person is going to come forward uh, very powerfully very strong and determined uh, very passionate moving forward with energy from the heart chakra and this person is going to ask for your hand in partnership okay so let's get more i'm hearing you've tamed the wild beast within this person they are no longer searching you know, they've come to some sort of a realization. I believe this person may have had a delay. They may have been dealing with a lot of different scenarios. And someone here, whether it be you or this person, has been very patient. You may have known this person for quite some time. And I feel like you planted the seed with this person a very long time ago. And it's finally growing. It's You can finally see the actual plant growing it's definitely been time and i feel it's for both of you and i'm even seeing another two at the bottom so that's triple two energy here we'll put it back in there but i mean that has to do with something good happening here for sure i feel like one person here had a lot of different um, let's call them situations on their plate, including possibly a marriage. And the other person, I feel, was more of the waiter. And that person may have had some family or may have children that are older, um, may be a divorcee as well, or just a single parent. Uh, I'm getting two mature people here that have life experience for sure. Okay. Two, I'm hearing two halves make a whole, like, this is a special connection. Let's see what else we have here. And here it is. But this time, coming in reverse. Now, I mean, the first thing I hear is, I'm here. I'm here. So, I feel this person has taken the jump. They've done the hard work. Um, the obstacles and challenges came in reverse. But when I saw it earlier, when I received the first message, ding, ding, right? Let me recently, you understand why I had to take the time to cut that out. Sorry. Okay. So the obstacles and challenges are now coming in the reverse. I feel like this person is actually, um, they've done this. They've taken the jump, whether it's literally as I'm, ta I'm telling you, are reading you as bedtime tarot um, or if it was like just yesterday because when I started the reading the first thing I heard is like I'm on my way I'm ready and now when I saw the card I heard I'm here so this is going to happen very fast right and we have the positive movement forward but I feel like it's like positive momentum hmm. very special <laughs> And I mean, the ding on my phone, I do feel is relevant, okay? 
So let's see what else is coming out for, for you. I'm hearing you're the one. I'm definitely hearing a masculine's voice. I don't think anything flipped over there. If you're wondering. So do we switch decks now, maybe? For now, I'm hearing for now, okay? So let's go to this. I want to see um, exactly what your person's intentions are coming forward. Well, that was really quickly, and it is the magician. So what I'm actually getting is this person does want to be open and honest about exactly what they want. Um, okay, I'm also hearing liberty and freedom. So whoever this is coming in, um, they don't want to play tricks with you. They do want you to know that... They're a free spirit. This person is a free spirit. This person likes to explore. I am not getting any energy of cheating. This person is coming back to you is what I'm getting. Um, some of you could be a fire sign, right? Um, this person is coming back to you. They know where they want to be. They know where they want to stay. But there's some sort of an energy. <laughs> okay, so you may be dealing with an American. Because I'm just hearing like land of the free, home of the brave. Um, but I feel this is just someone that's wild. Remember, you've tamed the beast. So you have someone who is like an animal. But they know where they want to be. They also want to be free. So this may be a very, um, I'm hearing experimental relationship. There may be a lot of different types of of expressions of love between you and this person, okay? Um, do we need to clarify that? Intention. Here we do have a card. Oh my gosh, you're not even joking. Okay, so this is the King of Wands, yeah. And I'll tell you, um, earlier there was the Queen of Wands at the bottom, but I just, I didn't want to bring up the bottom cards. Um, and I am going to bring them up because I'm going to say that this person has actually broke a lot of people's hearts because of what they appreciate in life, which is to be free, to live life. This is most likely why, you know, they're leaving and coming towards you. So let's see how they feel about you since, you know, they want to be so, um, <laughs> so forthcoming. Okay, the card didn't come out. So what we do have, we have temperance coming out. And under that is the queen of wings, which is really interesting. Um, I don't know why I pulled it out. Oh, I think I pulled out two cards here. Did I? Well, this is how this person feels about you in the four of shells. Okay. So this person feels that you're a bit judgmental. This person feels that when they come forward with this honesty, and it is honesty, and this person does love you, and it does actually take a lot of courage for them to come forward, but they think um, because you've been so patient, you're going to try to like reevaluate this. And with the Queen of Wands, it's about the analyst. And I just see that, you know, this person thinks that you might worry. But I know this person doesn't want you to worry. This person does not mean anything bad by it. And what I'm actually getting is almost like this person, look at what we have here. Oh my gosh, yeah. So what I'm getting is that this person feels like they have to be so upfront now because um, maybe just of what they've come out of. You know, I am hearing like the person that they've left they looked at love differently than this person does. This person wants to lay everything out on the table with you to avoid any stress or any like bitter endings. This is the 10 of wands and the death card. So I just get this feeling like you may be dealing with someone who's a bit stubborn. Um, 
they definitely are coming towards you and following their heart, but they don't want to feel locked up because you've already transformed this person in one way or another. And what else I'm hearing is this person never thought they were going to leave the other situation that they were confined to. Okay. It was unexpected. Uh, something happened where this person couldn't deny it. Um, they may have been dealing with a water sign or just someone who was very emotional. Okay. That's really interesting. And the thing is, is you're coming up as the queen of wings. You're coming up as someone who's a thinker, who's not extra emotional. The person um, that was very emotional, and I'm hearing actually a bit unstable, is the ex of this person. Um, and their emotions got in the way of the relationship because they were trying to control everything. Okay, that's what I'm getting. It's interesting, right? But they're coming up as the Queen of Cups, and you're coming up as the Queen of Wings. But I see why, because this person thinks that when they come towards you, you're going to be like, oh, no, let me think about that. What are you saying? I've just waited for you for so long and you're telling me you want to be the man of the brave, the free of the in the free of the land or land of the free and the brave or whatever. And you're like, let me think about that. But <laughs> it's almost I'm hearing like it's almost like calling your bluff. Look, at here's the strength. This person may, oh, you can't see, guys. I'm so sorry, I forgot. Um, this person may get turned on by upsetting you. Real interesting. What is this card sticking out? The High Priestess. This person respects you a lot. Um, but this person is very attracted to you wanting to understand things so deeply and dig into them. Okay, like this is something that's very attractive to them. So they actually like annoying you. It's just the simple way I'm going to put it. Um, and they like triggering your intuition and your spidey senses. Okay, it's almost like they say things to you. In the back of their mind, they are like, they're never going to do that. They're never going to take that. They're going to be pissed. But it doesn't scare them off. So this person likes to annoy you a bit, okay? <laughs> I wouldn't, I would just go along with it personally and even like, okay, yeah, okay, let's do that then. Let's have our freedom. <laughs> but I mean, that's up to you. You do whatever. I'm not saying because I'd want to have my freedom. It's like, because I would call them on their, like, you know, I would probably, I don't want to argue, <laughs> you know? And like, and, and just because someone says they're doing something, it doesn't mean they're going to do it, right? We know this, you know, this is a fact. Okay, so. Well, 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 okay. Is there anything else we need to know about the way this person feels about you, the viewer, from this deck? Nope, not for now. That's what I just heard. Okay. So let's see, let's pull from this beautiful deck. So what is going to be happening? Um, let's just get like three cards to explain how this is going to come about. Or what we're, whatever message we're meant to, to know. Okay, so do we have three cards? <laughs> no. Well, I feel like we take these three that are in my hand. Um, but so what we have here is kind of simple. Oh, wow. So we have the King of Cups, the Chariot, and the Nine of Cups. And this is what I get here. And I'm seeing the Emperor at the bottom. And I'm also seeing the Eight of Swords. Okay, I'm getting a message here. Let me just really pick this message up. This person is saying this, okay? And I don't know if it's true or not. But what the message is, is, you know, like they had a house. They had a home. They did their best to provide. And it was never good enough. There was always some sort of a maze or some sort of a loophole or another Another, like, something to go through. Another challenge to go through. 
it never felt like a home. It felt like separation. This person felt like they could never please the other person. They were always unhappy. And this person really tried to put a lot of energy into that and put a lot of love. This person thought for a moment that this was going to be a very special situation with whoever they were with. And what they're saying is they were lying to themselves. They knew it was too good to be true is what I'm hearing. But they knew. They knew. They just knew. And this person has a lot of strength and a lot of stamina. So they held on. They held on while the rest of the world around them just kind of disappeared because they didn't know how hard this person was working to avoid a separation. They didn't, no one knew how hard this person was working. This person went to work extra. And then this person walked away. But I'm getting like, you know, maybe you don't even know that this person actually had walked away from that other relationship and maybe gone back as well. So they walked away and they realized like it has to end. And whoever the other person was did reach out to them and it didn't matter because they realized it had to end. They came to some sort of an awakening that they couldn't deny this anymore. They couldn't just keep on burying this. They had to stop hanging on and make a choice. They had to leave. In the meantime, and I'm reading the cards here, guys. I'm just going through them. In the meantime, the first thing they thought of when they came to this realization is you is coming towards your beautiful, loving energy. But for some of you, you actually isolated yourself or, or, or excluded yourself from the situation. There's the queen. They were thinking of you the whole time. But I feel you were brokenhearted. You were trying to build a new beginning. I don't know if it went very well. You may have had another suitor or just, you may just have, what's behind here? Let's see. You may have actually started a new beginning, hoping that this person would come back, but they didn't, but they will. They are. This person is asking you not to stab them in the back like they did you. This person wants to invest in this love, reunite, let go of everything else, and be with their one and only their special person. They want a fresh start with you. They'll do anything for it, actually, to show you that. That's how they feel. They feel they'll actually do anything for that. This person has a desire for you that they cannot explain or control. You're confident, you're admirable, but you're admired is what I get. So I guess that might be the same. And this person gets very jealous when others try to come into your life. So, okay, I feel like I didn't finish this message here, guys. Let's go back to the three cards that came out. Sorry, I got um, very into that. So I don't know if I said all this, <laughs> but you have a King of Cups here who is going to be coming in. Remember, they're going to have that communication with you. And there might be a little pause. But I'll tell you, this person's goal is to actually share their happiness with you, share all these special moments with you. They want to... Create a Ten of Cups energy, okay? 
Like that's most, it's something to do with this person <clears throat> wanting to be a normal person. This person doesn't want to get married anymore. Okay. But they want to have an amazing life and they want to share it with you, the analyst. <laughs> but they want to have fun, right? So let's get a couple more cards. And we'll go back to the first one and see if there's any other messages now. But yeah, let's see what's coming out here. Finances and career. Um, this could have been partially what was holding them back before being afraid to leave that, not following their heart, instead paying more attention to security, right? And family, family issues here. I mean, come on. It makes sense. This person put romance on the back burner to take care of the kids or to take care of the projects they started. And, you know, they were... Got, divinely guided to do that by the way so just know this person was following their intuition in the back of this person's mind there's this person from the past i'm seeing you had this relationship there's this person they thought and couldn't stop thinking of their soulmate um but what this talks about is keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and yeah you're definitely um, a, a mixed match here, right? Because I got that two halves make a whole type of thing, but I mean, I don't think that they're the two same halves, you know? What do we have here? Staying optimistic. I mean, that could have been the both of you. It could be your love that pulled this person in, that your optimism that, you know, rewrote everything and created this. And I was going to say, what's the final message? But it's reconciliation. This person is coming back. This person does look at you as being their soulmate. And this person says they are very sorry for when you felt like they were showing you unrequited love. You know, I feel like for some of you, maybe this person actually tried to be better, but you were like, what are you doing here? You know, like you just left or something like you, you may have been like, what is going on instead of just, you know, taking it um, because yeah, because maybe this person popped back into your life for a second here and there and you're like, you just didn't believe them. Because you're like, why would you do that if you loved me? So you considered it like they didn't love you. And this person wants you to know, actually, I had issues with the children and a codependent. Or a dependent or whatever you want to say. A, a wife, maybe. This person knew you were the one but knew you deserved better love than they were able to give you. And maybe even your friends were talking crap to you or something, or like, you know, whatever, it's not crap. They were just trying to protect you and you retreated. You went through the separation. I mean, this story can actually go on forever. I see separation. I see you getting your life together. I even see, you know, you, somewhat moving on but not really able to anyhow guys this is a beautiful 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 message and i guess we just end it with the reconciliation i guess the main part of this message is this person's coming back and they like it's like secretly they want you to know they are choosing to be faithful to you you don't need to try and force anything you have like conquered the beast within them, but they still want to act like, you know, they're, they're wild. <laughs> Good night, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great, great, great week. Bye for now.